welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Nathan and today we're doing a walk around video on this stunning 2015 Ford XR6 Turbo in a Ute and we all know how exciting these cars are. Now what we're going to do is actually run through the condition on the outside as well as some of the features that does come in this model. Now starting off at that front end you do get that new updated look uh, which Ford has adapted into their cars. It's quite a nice sleek design, gives it quite a classy look, not as aggressive. Uh, sorry is quite aggressive and has like that shark nose kind of front end. Now in the front there, you do get the XR6 badging in there with that red finish that does tie in with the whole turbo uh, badging on the back, which we will go through when we actually go around to the tailgate. But really nice front grille. It is going to allow for a lot of airflow through to that intercooler to keep that turbo nice and cool and get the engine running really smooth. Now fog lamps do come fitted in the front bar there, which are going to help, which is going to help you drive a vehicle like this. Now there are very minor marks, which we have gone through to touch up a few on the bonnet here as well, but nothing to be too worried about considering its age uh, nothing too concerning now the headlights are quite quite a stunning design nice long sleek headlights with your projector globe fitted in there and these two daytime running lights that run under the headlights there which give it quite a nice striking design now coming over to that first alloy you've got that stunning multi-spoke design um, great finish on the rim it does have that polished aluminium through the middle there and a gloss gun metal on the outer side of the spoke so a uh, dual tone kind of finish to the rim itself. Rim presents exceptionally well, no damage whatsoever, no scratches, gushes or anything. And you've got plenty of tread remaining on these tires and quite a nice profile as well. It gives it a sleek look. Now the indi um, indicators are fitted to the side of the um, quarter panel there that does make it nice and clear to see. Um, the side mirrors are finished off in a gunmetal finish which, which does tie in with the rims itself but gives it a nice contrast to the car itself and your uh, door handles are in that stunning blue. Now the car does come with two keys which is good to know. We'll just unlock it there to have a look inside the car itself. Great leather seats, bolsters are in excellent condition, a um, little bit of wear on the inside here but nothing too alarming and you've got the XR6 embroidery on the on the seats there which give it a nice design. Copper mats do come in the car as well and that nice XR6 scuff plate which is going to keep that inner door uh, part of the panel nice and uh, clean and prevent any damage when you are getting in and out of the car. The door card itself also presents really well, there's no damage whatsoever, minimal wear but that'll just come off with a bit of a wash but the car still presents quite well. Now coming across to the tailgate itself, you can see the car comes with a tub. It does have the sports bars fitted, give it a bit of stability in the back end as these can be quite light in the tailgate. Now that second alloy presents really well again. Uh, trying to be as picky as I can for you, but no damage on that rim either. So excellent condition in that car. As we come around to the tailgate, um, just take a look at the car itself. Quite a wide car. Do get the soft tonneau cover, which we'll just pull off like that. And that red turbo badging, that which matches the six badging in the front and the back here. Number plate is slightly to the left, but you can see how nicely this car actually presents. And it does come fitted with the tow bar. And you've got your uh, muffler there as well. Sorry, I'm a bit. Um, and now just to open the boot, latches on the inside and it does come fitted with the tub liner and plenty of space in the back. That is a genuine Ford tub liner as you can see at the very back there and the, the condition of this tub liner is actually really good. There's no damage or marks or stains that I can see on it so it actually presents quite well for its age. Closing this up and you can just flick the tonneau um, over this just to clip it in when you wanted to, so if you are keeping anything anything in the boot. Now coming around to the this side of the car, make sure you pay attention to the paintwork because it is in that really nice metallic blue finish. We do highly recommend you protect a car like this, especially with the stunning finish. So please talk to us about a glass coat option which is going to give you a lifetime warranty on this paintwork. Now coming across to that third alloy, generally this is the side with the most damage as it is the curb side of the car. However, no damage on that rim whatsoever and plenty of tread remaining on those tyres. Fuel filler cap is on the passenger side which is a safe side so if you do have to pull over in case of an emergency you know you're going to be nice and safe now the fuel filler cap does just pop open when you put, press it it can run on your e10 fuel as well or use your 98 fuel closing that up coming across to the passenger side again paintwork is exceptional still got that gray side mirror um, which gives that beautiful dual tone finish and that fourth and final al alloy again completely unmarked so we've got four unmarked rims in excellent gunmetal condition you've got four great tread on the tires paintwork around the car is really good and you've just got a quite a striking car in, in the xr6 turbo itself so what we're going to do is actually pop the hood and take a look at the heart of the car
And taking a look inside the engine bay of the XR6 Turbo, what we have here is a notorious Barra motor, which is a straight six turbo motor, and it does come with, a, uh, it is a four liter petrol motor. It does come fitted with a six speed automatic gearbox, so plenty of uh, gears to actually shift through, but also plenty of torque and power when you need it. Now this car itself has a five star ANCAP rating with four airbags, so considering there's two people in there, there is lots of safety for the passengers in the car. Now this Barra produces 270 kilowatts with 533 newton meters of torque, so plenty of torque and power in this car itself. And as I said before, runs on your uh, on your petrol motor. And I did say unleaded petrol, I do highly recommend using 98 on a car like this. However, combined fuel consumption is a, uh, about 12.4 liters per 100 kilometers and an average fuel distance of about 653 kilometers off a full tank. But let's be honest, you're not driving this for its fuel economy, you are driving it for what this car has to offer. So what we're gonna do now is actually jump inside the car and take a look as, as to the features that the XR6 has. Now taking a look inside the uh, XR6, what we have here on the driver's side door, really nice door card, do get your um, power windows here. Now they are just standard power windows, you do have to hold it down to actually uh, pull the window down. And you've also got your side mirror toggles just on the side here as well. Now, on the right-hand side of the dash, up here is your auto trip button. So pressing that, it's just gonna flick through your trip A, trip B, and your mileage, and the menu option, which is for your different cluster settings. So dimming, um, speed, reg uh, speed, speedometer, different kind of settings for your actual head unit. Now, on the right-hand stock of the steering wheel is your left and right indicator with your headlight options and your fog lamp controls. Now, they, they are automatic headlights, so you can just leave it in auto and the car's gonna sense when it needs to use it. And on the left-hand side are your wipers and washers. Steering wheel is a very nice uh, leather stitch or vinyl steering wheel, quite comfortable to hold, nice big spacious steering wheel horn right in the middle. And on the right hand side are your cruise control settings with a little uh, paddle for that and your voice control. And on the left hand side are your media controls with your volume, call and reject and your mode which is on a paddle as well. Now coming over to the head unit, what we have here is Ford Sync system which is one of the best systems on the market at the moment. As you can see there are four quadrants here, so you've got your Bluetooth connectivity, your inbuilt navigation, your entertainment system which is your Bluetooth connectivity, AM, FM radio, and climate control. And you can just tap on a quadrant and it will open it up for you and you can uh, control it either way. So you've got dual climate control for driver and passenger. You can just go back to the home and just take a look at the inbuilt navigation. As you can see, quite easy to use, so quite clear as well. Coming down here, all the hard buttons for the um, uh, for the car as well, so hard buttons for your AC system, although you do have the touchscreen head unit, and you've got hard buttons for your radio system with your volume and everything there. Central locking button is just here, as well as the stability control. Got a bit of generous spacing there, and a 12 volt input for any additional charging that you might be doing in the car. Now, bringing the car into reverse, uh, uh, sorry, drive, sorry, and I bring it down. And if you flick it to the left, that is your sports shift system. So you can actually flick to the gears manually yourself if you wanted to, or you can just leave it in drive and the car's gonna sense when it needs to use it and put it back into park. Manual handbrake, got two cup holders and a nice leather stitch center console armrest. If I lift that up, you've got plenty of storage in there with a spot to keep your phone, two USB inputs and your auxiliary input and your SD card, which is actually for your head unit. Now, just get the camera person to pan around the inside just to show you the condition. Uh, as I said, the car presents really well. Even the passenger seat is in excellent condition, nice bolsters and the leather is in uh, actually being kept quite neatly. So what we're gonna do now is actually jump outside and wrap up the video. So much for watching the walk around video on this 2015 Ford XR6 Turbo in a Ute. I hope this video gave you a good representation as to the condition on the outside of the car, as well as some of the features that does come in this model. Um, however, if you did have any additional questions, wanted to test drive the car, or actually wanted to purchase it before you came in, you can do that. Now the number to dial is 99070555. Just before I go though, this car does qualify for our premium mechanical protection plan. Now what that will offer you is five years extended protection on 181 electrical and mechanical components of this car it does also come with the added benefit of 10 years platinum roadside assistance nationwide so if you do plan on keeping this car for a while doing a bit of towing or traveling there is great value in this service so please speak to us about this in addition to that i do highly recommend you take advantage of the glass coat and tint package which we can do for you which is going to give you the darkest legal tint on a car like this which is going to make it look nice and neat but also give you the paint protection for the exterior which we do highly recommend now these two services are an additional cost however if you are using our in-house finance i would love to introduce you to our business manager Julie who showed just some minimal diesel effect your repayments. Now lastly, but most importantly, please check out our Google reviews. With over 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, 
gives you the assurance that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now, as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Mason and thank you so much for watching.